Hey guys, it's Dr. Jenny, and today I want to tell you about an app that you can use to help you identify plants and animals in your region. So it's called iNaturalist. If you go to your Play Store, type in iNaturalist, uh, it'll pop up. I believe it's a kind of a greenish logo with like a white bird or something. And go ahead and download it, take the time to set up a profile, and then you're ready to go. So here's what's beautiful about this is that you know that plant outside that you've been seeing for years but you still don't know what it's called? All you have to do is go and take a picture, download the picture into the app within seconds. It's going to propagate other photos that look exactly like the photo that you just took. So essentially on the spot it's telling you what that organism is. You can do that with plants, you can do it with animals, and it's also a social app. So if you look at those photos and they don't match what you think this organism is, then leave it blank and someone will come along and help you identify it later. So this is, this is huge for kids because if you're having a hard time getting your child away from the screen and outside, tell them to bring it with them. Bring their phones, download the app. They can take photos and engage with the nature and start learning what these different natural objects are around them while still using technology. And so you're simply just kind of transitioning them outside while still using technology. It's, it's a beautiful, it's a beautiful concept, beautiful idea, and it's really going to help you to get your kids outside and engage with nature. Plus, you're learning too, so everybody wins. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to transition over to screen view so you can actually see what the app looks like. All right, so as you can see, uh, the iNaturalist icon is in the very center of my screen. It's a little green bird, so we're going to go ahead and click on that. And then what pops up is your observation. So yours is obviously going to be blank. If you look down here at this bottom left hand or bottom right hand corner, you see a little green plus sign. Go ahead and click on that. Then you have the option of taking a photo, choosing an image, or no photo. So I'm going to go ahead and click on choose an image. And up here I'm going to click on this um, caterpillar. And so you've uploaded your photo, and then the second little icon is a question mark, and it says, what did you see? So click on that, and that's, this is where it's going to propagate photos that look like the photo that you took. So this is a very specific species, so they may not come up with an exact match to what it is. Let's see, the Zephyr, Zephyr Silk Moth. Okay, so I don't see it here, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and I'm going to click Moss and Butterfly. So it's a very general category, right? Click Select, go back, Notes, I'm going to write Zephyr-Eyed Silk Moth. And then the date and time, I'm going to go back and I'm going to add the location, the date and time later so we can move forward. So go ahead and click the checkbox and then click yes to save. And as you can see, it's uploading it. As it's uploading it, we're going to look at some other things. So if you go to this, um, to the menu, the three bars, it's the menu on the top left. And then the first thing you're going to see is explore. So Explore is a really neat option because it basically shows you everything that's been recorded in your area. So on the bottom of the screen you see um, an icon on the right and on the left. On the right hand it's essentially a list of everything that has been recorded. And you can see some of my photos down here. Let's click on this one. So this is a 1C Juniper on the right side and it has an RG next to it. And that is a 1C Juniper that I identified and as you can see in the bottom it's clicked as research grade. So if you click the comments icon, which is in the very center of the screen, then you see that I labeled it as 1C Juniper and then someone else came along and also identified it as 1C Juniper. So it kind of helps to um, establish validity with the observations. So let's go back. And then if you click on the other, the map icon, you can see your region and what has been identified as far as plants and animals. So it's kind of neat to see where people are recording things. So let's go back to the menu button. We have missions. Missions is going to be a really, really cool thing for you and your kids to do. So as you can see, you can actually give them the phone and let them see these icons and see do what they want to look for a mammal. Do they want to look for a plant? Um, it might be easiest to start with plants because they don't move. And so they might be easier for you to find. So I'm clicking on plants. It's going to pull up some plants that um, hopefully, at least I'm assuming, are in my region. And so let's say poison ivy. So we're on a hike and there's plenty of poison ivy where we are. 
So I'm going to click on that and then I am going to look for poison ivy when we're on our hike. And so when I find it, I'm going to click observe. So it's kind of like playing a game. It's kind of like um, playing a, a hunting type of scavenger hunt game. So missions are great, not only for your kids, but you might enjoy it as well. And then down here at the bottom, there's also another option where you can add a new observation.